Now, I will let me start with you because what she came for is also something that I need to help you also with. Okay. Now, number one, I need to pray for you because you have some spiritual battles we need to stop. Amen. Because this is the source of most of your calamity. We solve this one thing by the Spirit of God. It secures about 96% of your issues. Amen. The 4% you can do yourself. Amen. So God just wants me to help you with the 96%. Amen. Thank you, Prophet. By His grace, the Lord Jesus will help me. Amen. Number one woman of God, I need to pray for you because you are under a diabolical curse. Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. I am seeing you as a young woman. God blessed you. You are very intelligent. That's true. <laughs> and God used you as a light of a family. I saw four people and you are the fifth person, but I saw the light being on you as the chosen one. I come from a family of five. We are five children. I know that. I'm the prophet. <laughs> prophesy, prophesy, Papa. <laughs> I don't like, listen, I want to travel again. You guys don't miss me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Mr. Mystic Man. <laughs> so I saw, <laughs> this, is now my, this is now my other world. <laughs> so watch this, watch this. I saw five. And I saw you are the one that was anointed. Amen. I saw God raising you. Amen. But as God was raising you, there was a few guys that were trying to get your attention. Always. Because number one, you are not, the truth is you are very intelligent and you're beautiful. Thank you, prophet. But the, the problem was, I saw you working where they're counting a lot of money. Eh? Because I'm entering in like a central like bank or something like that. Are you hearing me? Yes, prophet. This is like a bank. I've worked in a bank before. Uh -huh. So... So as, as I'm watching this vision, I saw somebody in this place trying to get you. Are you hearing me? A specific powerful person. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. This person had a situation, but was trying to also recruit you. Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. He was trying to get you. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I've, I've, I've connected, yes. You yes. have connected, yes. thank you. <laughs> but you refused. Uh -uh. I don't want rubbish. Uh -huh. <laughs> you refused. And because you refused, this guy was furious. Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. This guy was furious. He said, you, I will show you, you will look for me. Mm. Are you hearing me, Mama? Yes, Prophet. Uh -huh. You moved on in your life building and stuff. Well, all of these things are happening. And I will tell you something that has reappeared. Are you hearing me? Yes, prophet. <laughs> Prophesy, prophet. Prophesy. I saw you working and there was a guy there that I mentioned in your ear. Are you hearing me? Yes, prophet. There was a guy called Stephen in this whole environment also. We met in that bank when I was very young. I know. Yes. I am telling you. <laughs> I am the prophet. I already know the story. Okay, I'm done, Professor. No, 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 no. Oh. Professor, Papa. <laughs> Professor, prophet. You see, you don't understand that to God, past, present, and future is the same. He says it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So you, you think it is in the past, but when I'm seeing it, I'm literally standing there. I'm watching. I can even tell you how you dressed. I can tell you the time. I can tell you how it happened. Professor, I'm Papa. seeing you speaking with the Uncle Steve, telling him, like, ah, these things are happening. These people are weird and, and, and all this kind of thing. The guy released a curse on you. He went and did some weird stuff. 
And what happened Ivan. was you started to have itching, scratching. Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. It, it, it manifested like there's a time you had, like around that time, you had like a rash thing that wasn't making sense. Then God opened a door for you. You got married. Yes. Uh -huh. But the problem is you got married, but you are already within a curse. It's true, Prophet. It's true. So this man that was chasing you and you got married to that you gave up everything for, very true, I did, Papa. You gave up Professor. everything for. The moment he married you, he changed. A lot. The affection died. Everything. The love died. He even started being abusive. Emotionally abusive. Uh -huh. Very started abusive. being abusive. That you're yes, like, Papa. what is going on this and this and this? In 2016, he started threatening of not being with you. You go some days not being home. You come back, you argue a little bit, he's gone, he's not at home. In 2017, he ran from you. 2017, he ran from you. This was in April. April, April 9th, he ran from you. That's the date. Good Pro Friday. I am Good there, Friday. I am standing. On <laughs> Professor. My name is Lovie Elias, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> this prophecy thing, uh, I was born to do it. <laughs> I'm literally watching this whole thing. Now, now, it gets even worse. The guy just disappears from you. Doesn't want to do anything. 2018, divorce stuff starts. Very true. Prophet. That's when you do the divorce stuff. That's when we started the divorce. divorce process. Yes, Papa. And then now, you're by yourself. That is true. You have struggled a lot. You have suffered a lot. Nothing is working. Yes, Prophet. All this, all this is a sign that the curse is still hovering over you. Deliver me, Prophet. I can't deliver you. Only Jesus can. He can use me to deliver you because he's the one that is talking to you. So, this man just turned his back on you. You have been fighting by yourself, struggling by yourself, and nothing is really moving for you. Nothing, Prophet. Everyone will see you, they will think everything is good because you also don't complain. No, I don't. Because your whole family is also looking up to you. <laughs> but the reality is... Nothing is moving. I am seeing a certain building. Are you hearing me? Like a construction thing that was being done in Uganda. Are you hearing me? Yes, Prophet. Even this thing is just not moving. Everything. My brother's house. It's not stopped. moving. It stopped. Yes, yes. Because I'm standing all of a sudden. I'm standing in Uganda. Yes. And I'm looking at this house that is being constructed. It's just stuck. Nothing is moving. My brother and my dad. <laughs> Nothing is moving. Yes. But they are looking to you to help to finish. And you can't even finish it. Because you yourself, you're battling. But yet money used to flow to you. It was never a problem. But now, it's like everything is tight. Woman of God, this is your day. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. This is your day. This is my day. This is your day. This is my day. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is your what? Amen. Your day. So, not only will the curse be broken, let me prove to you that this has come full circle for you. Okay? You were at a function recently. Uh, you were at a function recently. Yes. I'm seeing this guy wearing a bluish kind of suit. You know, the blue suit was bluish. That's him, Steve. We uh, met at the function. Who did you meet again in the function? Steve. What color suit was you wearing? Blue. Professor. Professor. The same Steve same you met Steve. in the bank. Yes. He reappeared again. Yes. And he's still a banker. 
He's still a banker. Hey. <laughs> so you notice you did a whole cycle. You're back at the same place. But the Lord said this time. Enough is enough, Papa. <laughs> now I have to give you a small warning. Be careful of our uncle. Yeah. Because he will attempt. It's not happening. Yeah, because that I, I know it's not <laughs> happening. I'm just giving you an extra disclaimer. Be careful. Because that whole past line has to be, I have to put a full stop. Amen. You get what Amen. I'm saying? We have yes, to stop prophet. that story. Amen. And start a new story. Prophesy. Amen. Now. Now. You are also praying for one person. This one is an emergency. Because this is now what the angel of the Lord is telling me. Yeah. Is similar to what this woman is praying for also. <laughs> are you hearing me, mama? <clears throat> I saw a woman that a spirit of death is gone after. <laughs> and this is cancer yes. that is about to kill this woman. And the angel of the Lord said she came for Deborah. She, she's in my, she's on my, Debbie, my friend. She's in the thing. She what has, is her name? Deborah, she has breast cancer. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> so, as I pray for you, God is also going to help Deborah. Amen. And as God is healing Deborah of cancer. Amen. Your brother also is where in Uganda? Amen. Yeah. Is in Uganda? Yes. God will also visit him and heal him from what? Amen. Cancer. Amen. Amen. Eh? Amen. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. God will touch your families. <laughs> you yourself be free. Woman of God, you are ready now. You are ready now. I'm ready, prophet. You are sure you're ready. I am ready. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You just spoke to me. You just spoke to me. Through your prophet. Through your prophet. This is your word. This is your word. He cannot know these things. He cannot know these things. Only you know these truths. Only you know these truths. Father, help me now. Father, help me now. Father, help me now. Father, help me now. Begin a new chapter for me. Begin a new chapter for me. Be free. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands to Jesus. And may Deborah also be free. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name.